Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these cute little baby hats. And the pattern will be available for free for one week from today. And you can find the link below in the comments and in the description. So let's get started. I'm working with a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. Chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. I'm making size newborn to 3 months. Chain 2. Make 9 double crochet in the ring. And I always carry my yarn end along the outside of the ring. And then when I'm finished this row, I'll be able to pull the yarn end and close up the hole. Okay, nine double crochet, slip stitch to join, chain two, and turn. I'm going to make two double crochet in each stitch around. So the chain two is going to count as one, and I'm going to make one additional one in that stitch, and I'm going to make two double crochet in each stitch around. So one, two. Okay, all the way around. Okay, I made two double crochet in each stitch around, and I'm going to slip stitch to join, and I have 20 stitches. I'm going to repeat that row, chain two, and turn, double crochet in the same stitch, make two double crochet in each stitch around. So one, and two. Two, 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 all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around making two double crochet in each stitch, the end of the row, slip stitch to join, and I have 40 stitches around. Now I'm going to chain one and turn, and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch around. So single crochet all the way around, and I'm going to repeat that for nine extra rows, so there will be 10 rows total of single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, I've worked the correct number of single crochet rows, and I fastened off, and now I'm going to attach two strands of a contrasting color in the bottom, in the same fasten off stitch, and I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all around the bottom of the hat. Okay, I worked all the way around at the end of the row. I'm going to slip stitch to join, and I'm going to fasten off. And I'm going to fold the hat so that this fasten off stitch is at the center back, and then right here, approximately in the center, you can fold it in half if you want to exactly find the center. I'm going to insert my hook, and here I have two strands of yarn, seven feet long, and I folded it in half, and I'm going to pull that through that stitch halfway to the front of the hat and I'm going to single crochet like that and you can just trim off the ends and pull it through and then that will form like a little tassel at the bottom of the cord. Do another tie on the other side. To make the little tufts just insert your hook anywhere in a stitch and I'm pulling two strands of yarn through and tie into a square knot. Trim off the ends evenly. Like that. And you can just skip along and do as many as you would like. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made some tufts, and I skipped five stitches in between each one of these, and then I just went up four rows and did another row, and I s interspersed that in between each of the bottom ones. And then you can go ahead and make a pom-pom. Make it any size you like. I have a video on how to make pom-poms and I will include it below in the link. Take the two pieces of yarn that you used to make the pom-pom, pull them through the top of the hat in a couple of different stitches like that. And then on the inside of the hat you can tie these into a square knot and then weave the yarn ends back and forth into the finished work. That's how easy it is to make this cute little baby hat. So there you go, there's a finished hat, and you can decorate it any way you like. For boys, you can leave off the flower, and for girls, you can sew on a crochet flower or a bow. 